is saying, hey man, if you got a million dollars, you're basically just a freaking deadbeat. And that your daddy didn't tell you that. If you didn't have any more income, and you were, how old are you? 27. You're 27 years old, I'm gonna do this at 47, I'm gonna do it at, uh, at, at, at 65. 27, you don't have any more income, how long would that money last? At $4,000 a month, you got 25 years. Where can you live on $4,000 a month? You'd have to live on $4,000 a month for 25 years. You will be 52 years old, my friend, and dead broke. Number one thing you gotta do is this. You gotta change the target, and you need to look at the target daily. The target, you have the wrong target right now. If you're struggling, you have the wrong target. When you change the target, everything changes. Now, and, and I started with zero, just so you guys know. I didn't have anything. Okay, so look, it's simple. Target, what's your new target? Freedom. Yeah, freedom. But 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 let's put my, uh, a number on it. So your first target should be $10 million and nothing short of that. Number one, the target. Number two, you need to get your income to a place. This is a fascinating concept right here. Okay, if you can do this, I guarantee you'll be rich. You need to get your income not to what pays your bills, but to where you can save 40% of your gross income is saved. All right, so now, now when you do this math, you're like, dude, how much money do I actually need? Let's kick this up to 20 grand. At 20 grand, what happens? You're saving eight. Storage. You're paying eight. And now you can live on four. See now, this is the right way to do a budget. You make 30,000, 12's going to storage, 12's going to the IR and the S, and that leaves you with six. So now you can start seeing, dude, you gotta be somewhere north of 300 grand a year. This is what they don't teach you at Harvard. You gotta be somewhere north of 360 a year before you even have money to live on, unless you're just, you know, you're a trek. You're just an irresponsible human being that, that's, you know, not putting storing money away for the future. Okay? Now you're saving 12 grand a month, that's $144,000 in one year. In 10 years, that's $1.4 million. In 10 years, you're a millionaire stored. You guys need to be heavily money motivated from a survival standpoint. Okay, number three thing you're gonna do. You're gonna go broke right here and invest the storage. Storage has to get invested. The golden goose is only good if she lays eggs. Otherwise you can kill her. Eat her for a chicken. Need eggs. Ba money needs to make babies. Right? So your goal right here is to invest, to invest the storage money and continue to do that until this money over here, the passive money, is equal to your income. Right, so what would I do? I'd go out, I'm gonna make 30 grand, I'm gonna store 12, I'm gonna pay the IRS, I'm gonna live on six. Warren Buffett says don't lose money, number one. Number two, don't lose money. I would tell you, number three, don't lose money. And that's the reality of the situation. That's what Peter Thiel was saying. A single digit millionaire cannot even provide themselves with their own personal defense in America. Okay? Hulk Hogan, all that money Hulk Hogan made, he blew it all. He blew it all, probably buying hair pieces. Okay? He blew it all, he blew it all, ended up with a little money, thought he was the shit, oh man, I got a little money, until he had that freaking lawsuit, and then he can't even defend himself. So, it happens to a lot of people. How many, how many of you know a family member that lost their job? Okay. How many of you have a family member where the kid got a drug addiction and he had to go to, to, to rehab for 30 days and it cost 40 grand? Dude, bad shit happens. How many of you know somebody got cancer? Okay. How many know somebody in a car accident cost three or 400 grand? Shit happens. Okay, the problem is not that shit happens. Shit happens and people aren't ready for it. Oh God, I can't believe this happened to me. Oh shit, really? God damn, you've been around long enough. Right? How many of you can't swim? <laughs> yeah, you, you live on a planet with water. I'm just saying you might want to get a swimming lesson. It's a wet planet.
<laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.